manera. Wow, this place is so fine. Yeah. See, you see that mm. building before that. Uh, also, this uh, university. Oh, okay. The name of the university is Adamson. Adamson? Adamson University. But also, during the Japanese, it was destroyed. Mm -hmm. But now, the use of. Uh, What's this place? Also, company building. Oh, okay. For, uh, Santiago, that's also that is the jail of my our national hero. Mm. Oh. Okay. That's my our national hero mm -hmm. of my our country. Fantastic. Is this jail actually active, active? Before, ma'am. Oh, okay. But now... It's just a current center. But now, this is the number one tourist attraction inside. Hello. Fantastic. See the two soldiers, they statue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, only that one original. Okay. Because before the big tank of the American mm -hmm. here, the big tank, and only this one, the original story. Yeah, okay. Original. Fantastic. Right. Yeah. Here, this is a uh, yeah. Before. Um. So guys, you are not allowed to actually record inside. You're only allowed to take pictures. So I'm just going to quickly insert the pictures of from the museum for you guys to see some of the pictures I took. Yeah.
Yeah, you are entering hallowed grounds. Please conduct yourselves with dignity, respect, and order. Watch your head. Okay. Oh, God. Careful. Watch your head. Is this true? Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Good. This is actually a dungeon. This area. The name of the story of the Oak Alita Pap. Barracks of the Guardia Civil, the police mm. of the Spanish, but during of the Japanese also destroyed. Oh God, you guys! So I'm finally back. I'm back from the Intramuros. Intramuros is, you know, the oldest city in Manila, anyways. It's the first city in Manila, you guys. I'm so stressed. The traffic that beats me today, <laughs> good. You pan already, but let me just give you guys, you know, hints and you know stuff that you should expect if you're going. First of all, if you want to go on this ride, just know that they are going to try to cheat you. Your tour guide, whatever. Um, I was talking to the taxi driver, the grab guy who dropped me off, and he was telling me that. Um, we were overcharged that that was too much we paid a thousand one hundred for the dog guide for both of us and he explained to me that that was actually expensive so maybe it's probably cheaper i do not know secondly is that you have to leave early leave early like in the morning 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 because in the afternoons and evenings the traffic is insane like you spent like an hour plus on the road traffic is annoying but yeah it's a very beautiful tour it was a bit a beautiful tour it was amazing to see like the history is just so great if you guys don't know during my second year in college i was you know instructed it was like a must for us to take the philippine history you know so yes i took it and love it was a subject that i loved but sometimes it got really boring and all that but i feel like now that i'm getting to see like some of those things that i learned back then it's more relatable like it's so relatable like when the guy asks me oh do you know this person i'm like yeah i'm familiar with the name are you familiar of this year what happened in this year i'm quite familiar with certain things so i feel like i'm beginning to love the history more to be honest and i hope to visit more places more significant places more memorial places you know and this place is such a beautiful site so amazing some of the museums the entrance were about 75 pesos and please if you are like me that move around cashless don't go on this type of movement without cash because everywhere you have to pay literally so if you are the type of person that you prefer to always swipe your card this would be such a stressful journey because for me 
I didn't have cash, so I move around cashless. Like even when I want to pay Grab drivers, I buy stuff. The only time I have cash is if I'm going to public market. If not, I am the type of person that you catch me literally with no peso. So reaching there and they told me that oh i can't pay with card was quite frustrating i had to ride back to go to the atm get money so yeah always have cash with you if you're going for this type of movement okay and this one will be like i'm not supposed to have cash but whatever we are in 2021 and we move around without cash thank you anyways yeah that's what i wanted to feel you guys in i really enjoyed it i enjoyed everything so quick one i need to rest try and record my camera is dead so i'm filming this literally <laughs> with my phone yeah we just have the best audio best quality right now but i just have to end this video and then i would update you guys later on yeah so thank you guys so much if you're new to my channel subscribe to me thumbs up this video and share this video as much as you can i can't wait to post all the pictures i got on instagram i'm so excited let me go and do it bye bye